So here we are, finally, back at the boat uh, to do another little video. These guys are at the aft cockpit doing some fairing, squaring up uh, some posts and some beams. Up here in the flybridge, uh, the carpenters are making the ceiling panels which will be covered with a thin foam and a vinyl. Um, some of the cabinetries beginning to get installed, looking pretty good. Uh, this is out on the Portuguese deck and that hole will be the return air for the Frigamar air conditioning. Um, there will be two hatches either side of the uh, walk down onto the foredeck. Uh, this is in underneath the helm where all the, most of the electronics are going. So you can see there the three inverters and the battery chargers and the controllers and uh, lots and lots of wiring to go in there. Uh, it's coming up pretty good. Uh, underneath the boat, uh, we've got a bit of a production line going, making battery boxes and hatch covers and uh, lots of sanding, sanding, sanding before they uh, do a coat of paint. Here in the engine bay, we have the idle bypass and the wet exhaust. Um, you can see down in that little pocket there, the round circle where the python dry is going to go and the shaft will come through. This uh, bay is all getting prepped and ready to get a good coat of paint right through and some shelving installed. There'll be uh, hydraulic pumps in there and electric winches for the platform. Uh, through hull fittings there, or not through hull, uh, conduits for electrical wiring and plumbing pipes. Um, it's a great big space, it's going to be very nice. Uh, this is a mock up of the uh, bowsprit. Um, I'm trying the anchor in. You can see there the guys have started to weld it together and uh, just checking that the anchor will work and the rollers are all work. And, before they polish it all up and uh, finish it off and put it on. They've done all the handrails as well, beautiful work. The more uh, hatch covers being made, battery boxes and uh, uh, exhaust chambers, uh, lots and lots of bits and pieces. Uh, even there you can see the mast. Uh, taken a mould off that to um, install up onto the flybridge roof. More hatch cover or hatches um, that will be fitted into the decks and battery boxes. Lots of stuff. Uh, these are the exhaust uh, manifolds where the uh, water and exhaust mix and the bypass chamber there as well. Some more hatch covers. Lots of stuff goes on underneath the boat there. There, another battery box there for the engine bay. Uh, here's the underwater exhaust and the idle bypass there so you don't get uh, excess noise. You can see the guy taping up the rudder and uh, a dummy sort of shaft for fitting. Now we're out of our storage container and uh, this is our tender which we brought over from Australia, a skip 4.3 inflatable with a 50 horse Merc and uh, we've got the sail makers making some covers to go on that. Uh, finally all our uh, overhead cranes, horizontal cranes and uh, davit cranes have arrived from Australia from Davco uh, and we're just checking all the gear, there's a couple of the remotes and uh, some cranes packed in there, a uh, couple of hydraulic pumps uh, to run the overhead cranes uh, or the horizontal crane. It's got a electric motor and a hydraulic pump on it to boom in and out. And this is my Davit 350 hydraulic cane. In this box here we've got the uh, brack support brackets for the lifting platform. Uh, it's all hands on deck here to lift the uh, posts into place. So there are double posts set up. The internal one is the compression post uh, to hold the saloon roof up and uh, 
the outside one overhangs the rear cockpit and the support bracket for the lifting platform slots up in there and it's lifted up and down by a couple of uh, worn winches. This is the hydraulic and electric horizontal overhead crane which fits in the ceiling of the saloon or the flybridge floor and uh, that will horizontally boom in and out and electrically drop a hook up and down so you can uh, run that out pick your dinghy up off the platform and then move it out further and drop it in the water uh, that way your platform goes straight up and down and can turn into a beach club you can see it, we've just mocked it up sitting in place uh, in the ceiling or well, that will be completely uh, covered up in the ceiling uh, the guys are just fitting all the brackets and everything needed to be there there'll be a little uh, little sort of Cape Cod roof over the top of that hook uh, as the crane comes out it'll just lift the flap up and uh, and out it'll go shed was cleaned out for a little while there before hull number three and four got started um, gave me a chance to stand back and have a look at it on the side view it's quite impressive as we walk around uh, the back of the boat or after the boat we can see we have the uh, support posts and platform posts in we've got a couple of the uh, posts up uh, for the sliding doors the guys are starting to make the platform shape here and uh, you can see the two stainless supports coming out for the platform that will slot in there uh, it's been a fair bit of work to get all this together uh, we're going to have a fixed glass panel either side and then sliding doors in the middle and an opening door to get into it uh, this is the davit crane which is uh, slots down in the center of the compression post in one of those double post setups uh, the guy's just hoisting it up on the top there and then it just slides down into the center of it and bolts down pretty simple setup uh, probably a little bit of an overkill for me but um, you know it's a it's a kind of a backup on a backup so I can lift my kayaks up and down and uh, push bikes or you can have another dinghy up there or a jet ski whatever you like uh, that's going to have rails going all removable rails all the way around the toy storage area it's a bit of a shot inside the flybridge here the cabinetry's uh, really starting to take shape uh, that'll be my access to the hydraulics and the electric winch in under one of the lounge seats there'll be a fridge and a sink and uh, some drawers in there pop-up tv come out of that and uh, it also double up as a chart table helm right across the front uh, day lounge there with some doors and hatches underneath and then quite a large corner lounge there which will have a table in the corner it goes up and down and uh, can turn into a king-size bed out through the Portuguese doors again it's a little rail going around there and some um, uh, perspex uh, for a uh, look and then uh, down the front will go yeah uh, this is one of the electric winches for the lifting platform that will be mounted to the bottom of the post they'll be in the engine bay one each side um, here the platform is almost completed now uh, the boys are getting ready to paint it and then they'll slide it up onto the stainless brackets that will all be covered in um, teak uh, flexi teak type product 
and uh, it'll have sliding chocks, flush mounted sliding chocks in there. That will come right against the back of the cockpit. That is my cabinet in the aft cockpit, which will have a barbecue, electric windows come up the side, a hinged door there, and you can see again, the engine bay is continuing to get fitted out. It's all painted now. I got it covered up with paper. Uh, and one of my rod lockers and dive lockers. That bit of timber there above the red, it be where the glass slides up and down. A couple of sliding doors across the back and some fixed glass. Uh, beautiful, beautiful big platforms. It's about 1.75 wide in the middle and close to four meters, four meters the other way. Uh, plenty of room, beautiful. I think it weighed about 120 kilos all up. Um, so not too heavy, but very sturdy. That'll just be bolted onto the stainless uh, brackets. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple setup. Uh, also, Davco Cranes from Australia uh, made some illuminated lettering up for me. Uh, so we were able to get that installed along the side of the uh, flybridge um, port starboard and it just guys here just got it taped up and uh, drilling the holes and uh, we, we made up a template to drill the holes and uh, then it's got a stainless steel polished stainless cover will go over the top of each of those letters and, um, and then flick a switch and bling bling 